One of the problems with having too many uh, old phones around and, and using various ones for video recording is that uh, you forget where all the buttons are. So, what do we want to talk about today? I uh, just finished reading Mike Hudson's, uh, from the Hudson's Hideout, uh, Wargaming, PC Gaming, uh, PC Wargaming blog, uh, a post about uh, some of the reasons why he likes physical war games over the PC uh, genre that's available and the titles that are available from a lot of different uh, companies. And it kind of struck me as I'm now in my fourth or fifth uh, either playthrough or multiplayer game of a uh, title, which we'll talk about uh, maybe in a minute or maybe not. Uh, and it struck me that uh, he was commenting on some things that were bothering me about the about the PC game. And at a generic level, I, you know, Mike, if you read, go and read Mike's article, it's uh, it's excellent, and it kind of just touches on some of the some of the aspects that are problematic. Now, primarily, that is the the fact that AI or artificial intelligence does indeed, or, or you know, programming subroutines do provide uh, all of the thinking, or much of the thinking, and a lot of the uh, administrivia that we don't want to deal with in a board game, it does also abstract away and take away a lot of the potential understanding that might be available to us from a given game. And that was probably probably the main point from, uh, from Mike's post. And as I'm playing this uh, particular PC game, and I'm playing it opposed uh, via email, I'm finding a significant level of frustration with the game. Uh, and uh, let me take a step back for, for just a moment. With a PC game, I, I have a different set of expectations about how to engage with the game, what I need to do to learn the game, and how I, how I want to approach, how I should be able to approach the game. With a PC game, I expect that I should be able to turn it on, load it up, have a quick look at the tutorial if I care to. I should really never need to look at the manual or read the manual. Uh, is that an unreasonable expectation for relatively complex games? Probably. But I think if you're a uh, smart designer, you should be able to, uh, either through balloon tips or uh, you know, error prompts or prompts, guide a player through through the exercise of playing playing the game correctly. And the particular game I'm playing has a number of nuances that uh, relate to how units interact with each other, uh, lines of sight, uh, range for uh, the firing of weapons and things like that. And it is completely opaque to me, uh, even after looking at the manual, how uh, those factors work correctly in a game. So such that when I'm playing and I assume uh, that a given situ a given location has a line of sight, it doesn't. And when a, uh, uh, a unit that shouldn't have a line of sight can see, it really it was really, really frustrating. I've also found that uh, because of this abstraction in terms of uh, all, all the things that are going on in the background, I can't, uh, I can't get out whether or not I have enough force in place to conduct the attack. Uh, I don't know, I don't understand based on the combat results that come out, based on the little things that go boom, whether, uh, you know, how much I've actually killed, uh, what it takes to kill a unit. It, it's really, uh, it was really frustrating. Whereas, and, may, and that part of that is the fog of war, and I'm, very comfortable with that. That's fine, but not as much as I'm seeing. Not when I see regiments of units being demolished by two Bradleys and a couple of platoons. I, uh, I'm having some issues there. Anyway, um, completely lost my train of thought. So, so when I engage with a uh, a PC game, that's the the type of experience I expect. But the board game, I don't have that ex expectation. I don't expect just to pull the board, board game out. If I want a rich uh, 
look at uh, the Eastern Front or D-Day or whatever I know, I'm going to have to read some rules, I'm going to have to understand some new game mechanics, I'm going to have to learn how to land the ship or land the uh, airplane or drop the airborne units or move the tanks. We, we're going to have to do some work. And what I get out of that, though, is a richer sense of what's going on and, and a better understanding of what the decisions that may need to be made are. Um, so when I cycle around to the differences in, in these games and the the approaches that you have versus a physical game versus a digital game, it's really important as a PC game designer that you are giving us enough information either in the display or through prompts to allow us to make informed decisions and get uh, and get the fun factor out of it. Uh, it's not to say that the games that I've been playing are not fun. I've really enjoyed them, whether I'm winning or losing. They've been very interesting, and they've been fun. But the all, but the level of frustration with not being able to understand how certain things are transpiring is uh, taking away what would be an awesome game and making it a, an okay game and a game that I'm glad I didn't pay full price for. Uh, and when I compare the play experience of that to uh, a, 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 almost a directly relevant title, there's no comparison. I will take the board game anytime. And there's a, there's, a, there's a deeper richness, there's a deeper understanding, there's better narrative, there is a uh, much fuller experience being had from the game with the physical components and the map and uh, the rules and the charts and the dice and all that sort of stuff, uh, let alone the whole tactile experience of uh, you know picking up the unit and looking at uh, you know this division or that combat regiment or that platoon or whatever the case may be. Anyway, so I wanted to thank Mike for bringing that article out and bringing it to my attention. It was uh, an excellent read, and I'm going to uh, pop up some mm -hmm. detail. Well, yes, me. Won't be detailed. Uh, put some thoughts up on the web soon in another video that uh, will try and compare and contrast uh, a, a physical board game and a specific PC game, and and discuss the merits or lack thereof of of each. And uh, hopefully that'll be interesting for you to have a look at. We'll talk to you soon.